Hello beautiful soul. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Welcome to another collective love reading. All Signs Tarot. All Signs Love Tarot reading. This is a love reading for the collective. You're here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection. This is a timeless reading, so welcome again. Let's take a look at what's coming in here. Their feelings for you, your feelings for them, what's on everybody's mind, is anyone making a move? Are we just getting a peek into somebody's thoughts? What's happening? Who and what is coming through today? Let's take a look at the energy coming in. It's the Queen of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Well, I tell you what, somebody has not let you go, Sun and Capricorn energy. They haven't let you go. There's something else going on that they need to work out. But here in our Queen of Wands, getting, yeah, it's a, a pretty self-assured energy. It's a confident energy. We have our Queen of Wands kitty here, our secret keeper, our protector. What are they working out? What are they, what's going on here? We need more. Okay. Let's see what's happening. Today's playlist. Well, they're always <laughs> in the description. All playlists are in the description in today's video. That's what I wanted to say. You'll also find them on the playlist tab on the Tarot Closet channel here at the Tarot Closet. You'll find they're all zodiac signs, all 12 zodiac signs. And if you're on a twin flame journey, you will also find very long in depth twin flame readings. So feel free to explore wherever you are inspired to go. Thank you again for joining me. Thank you for liking today's video, for subscribing to the Tarot Closet. It means so much. I really do appreciate it. Let's continue looking in and seeing what is going on here. What is wanting to come through? Queen of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what else we need to see today, Aho. Nine of Swords in reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse. Okay, well... Gemini and Mars energy. Somebody has not been sleeping. Stuck in their head, waking up. It's kind of like waking up and then doing something about the anxiety that this person has been feeling. It's like getting out of this. Like, I don't want to just keep waking up and thinking, what did I do? Look, just in their head, anxious. Like It's like waking up having dreamt about you. And in the partnership placement, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So somebody coming back in here. Eight of Pentacles also in reverse. The Hermit in reverse. Eight of Wands. Okay, communication. Somebody here wants to communicate. This is somebody that you have been, I want to say, disconnected from for a while could also just be that it's a heavy disconnect. You know what I mean? Like there's just been no talking, no communication. Virgo and Mercury energy. Here where the person who comes through for me, it's where their energy is the strongest. Of course, we, we could be dealing with a Virgo. It doesn't mean that we are, so don't worry. It's a validation that this has been kind of a stuck energy, but it's also telling me that this person is feeling a certain kind of way. Look, I mean, they're waking up here in the night and wanting to contact you. Is it being without you? Has something triggered this person? What's going on? Because, you know, the Eight of Cups, this is somebody who's learned some kind of lessons. And Saturn and Pisces energy, so obviously it's in reverse, right? So this person is coming back in. Communication, look at this, Eight of Wands. That means they left, too. It's a, a ghosting energy, maybe not answering a message, you know? Finally answering the message. Is there a message sitting there in your social media, on your phone? 
that you never got a response to? It could be. I tell you what, I mean, Eight of Pentacles in Reverse Sun in Virgo. This is also like things are not worked out. It's like still things haven't been worked out. Okay, so for some of you, this is literally a message coming in. A response to one could be a call to. It is a message either way. It's communication. It's just for, for some of you, I just really feel like there's like a response that is just sitting in there. And what's interesting is we have eight and then we have eight. And this is butterfly energy for me. That's new stage energy. So it's somebody who is getting out of the ego. It's a dark to light energy. So something being revealed. Yeah, coming in a really different vibe because they're they're not. Yeah, they're 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 literally waking up. I was going to say they're not doing so good. I mean, there's something going on and the eight of pentacles. So we're looking at eight, eight, eight here. And you know what this is? This is somebody stepping up and taking some responsibility. This is somebody who's getting out of an imbalanced energy of shadow and ego, possibly some fear around, I don't know, something that happened could be going back into commitment or something they did, but also just to come back in. It's somebody who is getting in a balanced energy and does want to step up and take some kind of responsibility. What happened again here in the Eight of Cups, you know, as it comes back in here in reverse. What happened? Why do I feel like something changed here? Okay, there we go. <laughs> the sun is here. It's your overall energy today, Queen of Cups. Yeah, look at that. It's a really healing energy. Uh -huh. Cancer energy, I'm liking that. And the sun energy too. We talked about the dark to the light, the butterfly energy. What is coming to light here? That's the sun. You get here, you get out of the moon. What's been hidden? The moon, of course, is controlling the tide, the emotions, yin and yang energy, the, the subconscious energy of the moon, the conscious energy of the sun. So shining on the moon and revealing something here. I'll tell you what, it feels like a really strong, there is some apologetic energy here for sure. And I'll look. It's the Two of Cups in reverse. This is a validation of the, the separation. And also, right here with the Hermit in reverse, really strong energy. Like, this person too right now is just probably, I don't know, spending more time alone than usual perhaps just right now. But again, it's really a validating energy for me of the two of you where things are and the Two of Cups too. Venus in Cancer energy, so the separation there may have been some discord around it. And I'll tell you what is just really strong for me is whatever they are coming in here with, it's, it is to apologize. Is there something more? The world card is in reverse. The King of Pentacles is here. Judgment, there it is. Yep, that's what that is. That's that energy. And I feel like this is yours, even though it doesn't want to come. Give me. <laughs> Ten of Wands, yeah, getting, getting, it's like burden energy too. It's like, that's it. I just need to put these down, Jupiter and Sagittarius energy. Eight of, look at this, Eight of Cups in reverse, Ten of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Swords in reverse, Queen of Cups, ju Queen of Cups judgment. This is like a really sincere, strong apology. Is it going anywhere else? I don't know. We have our King of Pentacles coming in here, Virgo and, and Mercury energy is somebody wasn't ready for something, are they now? Are they working on getting ready? Are they wanting to work things out, repair things? Because we know that there's a separation here. For some of you, there was some kind of arguing, arguing, excuse me, in discord. The Eight of Swords is also in reverse Jupiter and Gemini. And, you know, they, they kind of put themselves there. It's not communicating, things not moving forward. But it's in reverse as well. So look at that, 8-8, eight, 8-8. Eight, eight, eight. Well, that's a strong energy. 
definitely some something coming here dark to light. And I'll tell you what, for sure, the apology, asking for forgiveness. And the world card is in reverse. So something is not quite finished here, of course, obviously. Is it just this apology they need to make? Is there something else? And is there something around this person's life, perhaps yours, that's unfinished? You know, it's, it's life-changing energy. It's the world card around completion, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius. So definitely can be, we could be looking at distance for some of you, locations or other contracts, you could say, to people, work, things. It's kind of kept things not moving. This, of course, can be around some travel energy. It won't be for everybody. I don't think that's for, those are yours, but that's yours. That's yours. Bottom of the deck. I tell you, it's pretty darn <laughs> strong. The apology is real strong here. And like I said, I mean, it's just the way it's coming in today with the nine of swords, eight of swords in reverse, the nine of swords in reverse, the ten of wands, the eight of cups in reverse, eight of wands, judgment, getting out of the separation energy, but also the apology around what happened here. Yeah, this is strong. Three of swords in reverse, Saturn and Libra energy. We didn't even talk about the sun, <laughs> Leo energy. And the sun, of course, is connected to the solar plexus chakra, I do. A new cycle. The light energy, again, you know, the conscious energy, everything that needs to be seen, the potential for growth. New beginning. So getting out of the cycle that's been going on is really strong around the, the separation, what happened here. I just got to tell you, it's just really incredibly strong around this apology. It's somebody who's, I don't know if it's what, if you already know, if they have something to reveal too, excuse me. Because there is like a heavy, a heavy, heavy energy, like heavy hearted energy. Like I want to put this down. Okay, I've learned my lesson. You know, I want to, I really, really need to apologize because judgment connected to the crown chakra. I know. Archangel Gabriel, the angel Four messages, the herald of visions, specifically connected to the sacral chakra I feel, and the third eye chakra I see, the self-awareness. What do you want? Person's person, <laughs> person coming in here. Make up your mind, get some clarity, make a decision, wake up, wake up, be honest with yourself. This is somebody, this is this person from the past coming in here asking for forgiveness. It is just so strong. The King of Pentacles, the Sun, are they coming in here hoping you can come, they, you can work, develop something again, come back? Were you in a long-term partnership? Were you building it? Was it on the table? I mean, it's the Pentacles and you see all those grapes around there. I mean, that's around new beginnings. It's around development, literally. They're holding on also to a scepter here power of life, growing and starting things. Here's our your journey here with the castle, the schloss as we say here in Austria, holding on to the pentacle, commitment energy. I mean, that's what that is, you know. The king of pentacles knows what they want to do with that. So were, was there a timing issue? Is there still somebody was ready, somebody wasn't, somebody was available, somebody wasn't, or did they just kind of, I don't know, do something here that they need to come in now and apologize for and hope you can work this out because judgment is obviously holding this person accountable for some bad behavior. <laughs> this is so strong. Five of cups in reverse now. Mars and Scorpio energy. Please forgive me. I hope you can forgive me. Can we move past this? Look at that. Validation of the Two of Cups in reverse here, so that this this is what they're whatever however you got here is what they're apologizing for. Yeah, it's like were they just not working? Were they not? Was it not reciprocals or something in their life that they needed to f 
finish or work out and change that they just got lazy about kind of energy. Because again, this two of cups here is in reverse behind this person. It's like the validation of that. And the three of cups here knocked over the emotional energy. That's bringing in Mercury and Cancer. So some things perhaps that were said, things that weren't said for some of you, it might have been around other people. It may not have been, but it was definitely either like talking or in a message or on the phone or something. So there's also things that were said and it was emotional. And it's somebody who made you feel like they didn't love you. There's a lot of regret there and there's definitely, gosh, it's like just gave me chill energy, chills energy is connected here to the Eight of Cups in reverse, that abandoned. It's like ghosting energy pulled away, in particular emotionally, and around the love here. There's just, look at this apologetic energy. It's incredible, whoa, incredibly strong. Look, yeah, so there's the, the tower is in reverse. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't love the tower. <laughs> we don't love the tower, but it's not a terrible thing. I don't always love the tower, but there's something here around that, you know, this Mars energy. So it's somebody who's, it's like a fear. So it could be a fear literally around, yeah, something that they have to change. They've been afraid to do that, or maybe even just this fear around coming here to be honest. Getting to the root of the issues is also really strong in here. And there's some Mego in here. We came in here with the Four of Cups in reverse. So it's also a validation about some fear around that communication because there are three, are three of Cups again. And perhaps it could be that for some of you there was a Tower moment, you know, in the past energy. Because there's definitely... The separation here and it's somebody who has a lot of regret and is apologizing for their behavior you know so what what went on there the four of cups moon and cancer energy it's like trying to come back in like trying again kind of energy I just want to show you what, well, yeah, is coming through here. Okay. The Four of Swords is showing up in reverse. It's like getting restless kind of energy, Jupiter and Libra energy. And a, val a validation again of, of just kind of where things are. And again, look at this. So here's the Fourth Sword. There's a lot in there. It's clarity, communication, truth. It's also can be conflicting, right? You, The swords are like, pew, pew, you know, painful, conflicting, hurtful. Something happening in the three of swords. It's like where you go, of course, for the healing energy. And you can see the three of swords up here in reverse as well. Really strong apologetic energy. Page of wands trying to figure out how to bring it in here. Four of Wands, if you can see this person and that came through, didn't it? Or am I imagining it with the Three of Cups? In any case, if you can see this person, it's like saying it to your, saying it, you know, to each other, like in-person energy. This is a reunion energy. So we could even be looking at like a homecoming energy to a city, to a town, do you know what I mean? Or even back home home, if you, were, you shared a home. And again, I know it's not for everybody that that's even possible, but it's still like a coming together energy. The apology here is off the charts. Look, it's a really strong, intense, sincere apology. It's so necessary. Ten of swords in reverse, sun and Gemini. What happened here? Look at all those swords. A very painful ending. The tower in reverse. I mean, something went down here. Two of cups in reverse. Again, there can be some conflicting energy. This is more of the energy of please forgive me. Can we move past this? It's, it's really, really, really strong, the apology. Temperance is also here. 
Two of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn and Saturn energy. Is somebody just having trouble with commitment? Is that what this was? Or what is that other pentacle? Is that their ego? Is that trying to balance out their work life and their love life? Is this around another relationship to a person romantically or otherwise? A location? The world card in reverse, something they need to figure out? Because it's commitment energy, like inability, you know, struggling and overwhelming energy. And that's a lot of why you're here. This is, I feel like, really much, very much around the past energy. They're, they're, told, they're coming in here with the truth, with an apology. At the very least, this is the energy that's coming in. So this is what we're, this is, this is what's on their mind, I guess you could say. Temperance, the angel for protection, strength, getting this person out of fear, shadow. We see that getting out of the ego energy. Temperance is connected to the heart chakra. Archangel Michael specifically to the solar plexus chakra. I do. As well as the throat chakra I speak. Look at this. Just wanting to get everybody on the path here to the sun. Right there. The sun there. For everybody's highest good. A happy outcome. You know, it's like a working things out energy, restoring some balance, meeting in the middle energy, like a moderator energy around matters of the heart and communication here. This is somebody who really wants to apologize. I feel like they really want to work things out. Maybe that's not the case for you. This is a, a an energy for me, and it's just really in alignment, by the way, if you are... Also, if you are if you are uh, watching Gemini for some reason, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, that might be your reading. I don't know that it'll be out when you see this. It could be that it comes later in the same day, though, okay? So I can't point to any playlist or anything like that. But definitely watch the Gemini probably later that same day, the same day you're watching this, the same date, <laughs> if this is your reading today. Because... It's like, is this reconciliation or closure? Because we know that the separation is here and we know that they really, really, really have a huge apology to make. It's a very big apology. It's a sincere apology. Yeah, and it's just been really clear from the beginning. Five of cups in reverse, ten of swords in reverse, three of swords in reverse, queen of cups, eight of wands, eight of cups in reverse, judgment, temperance again even here in our four of swords in reverse nine of pentacles in reverse so a validation that if this is somebody who was not able to balance their work and love life that it's here there's like a overworking kind of energy but also there's commitment problems with with commitment energy here too i mean here it is look so were you in a long-term partnership? Were you building it? Was it on the table? It's like one of those is yours. So obviously there's some something going on here in your connection and why. And it, again, is it just commitment issues around not wanting to commit in a relationship or next level? I mean, it could be. I feel like you know what it is, you know? And the high priestess is the last tarot energy that's coming in. Divine feminine energy. Cancer energy, the high priestess connected to the sacral chakra, I feel the third eye chakra, I see the self-awareness. So there's a lack of revealing energy here. For me, this is around, like more about the present energy to apologize. Because the apology is just really off the charts. It's one of those readings for me today. We're going to bring in some oracle. We're in the old school vibe today. <laughs> I'm really feeling right or way wisdom today. The apology here is just really big. So again, some of you have a message that is just sitting there waiting that's that never got a response. And it can again, it can also be that it's just kind of coming out of nowhere. Maybe even one that it's almost like they were trying to write it too. 
It can't even be one that got deleted. Do you know what I mean? Or unsent, which also connects with, I want to say the love tarot the day before today. So whatever date you're here, they write messages they never send. So it's connect, connecting to that reading as well. And I just want to remind you, as I have turned comments back on, as you might have noticed, that I do moderate them. I do keep out links and tags and mean stuff. I just do. That's how it is. But what I really wanted to say about that is I've just noticed in some of the comments that um, sometimes people come in and, and have a really big paragraph <laughs> to say how it's not their reading. And that's uh, totally how it is. It's just not going to be. It's YouTube. And that's what I wanted to say. Please remember as you go into these readings that they're just not always going to be for you, including your zodiac sign. It's just not going to be every single week that it's your story. And maybe there's sometimes something within a reading that's for you and it's not the entire reading. I don't think I need to tell that to everybody, but I just wanted to say it because I am kind of coming out of hibernation in that, in that way in terms of reconnecting with you beautiful souls. And yeah, I just wanted to Bring that forward, blessed. Here's the other thing too. High Priestess. Judgment, there's an energy, 22, it's a master number. It's an energy of second chances. To, you could say, reach some goals. Is there still potential here? I mean, yeah. Because some, here in the world card in reverse, it, yeah, I don't know if you... Again, if you were in a long-term partnership, you were building it or it was on the table, something went down here, obviously. And yeah, there could be this energy if this is that reconciliation energy of trying again. It's like a second chance energy. Community coming together between worlds. Wow. So it can be that there's other people around you know, involved somehow, family energy is strong. Also, this can be literal around our Four of Wands and Eight of Wands if you can see this person, because they have a pretty huge apology, that you're going to see them at some kind of event, community, like coming together, so friends or family type of energy. Again, it's not for everybody that it's in person, but it is a coming together energy. And then the Between the Worlds energy, again, we could be looking at some really big well, long distance for some of you and other commitment energy in this Two of Pentacles, it is here. So whether it's people, places, things, some of you, there is a super strong long distance energy. But that's not always just about that. You know, it's really can be a lot of, about a lot of things. It just depends on the reading. And today that really is this energy of timing issues here and here there's somebody making a step forward. Look, they're coming out of the dark into the light energy too, to come together. It really does have the second chance energy, I have to say. What is that for you, reconciliation or closure? Flexible, somebody, this is stuff you could say coming in, like a new cycle, but it could be that there, yeah, there's some decisions or compromises that might still need to be made. Yeah, co-create. It's like make, make and, making <laughs> happen. Making making it happen kind of energy. Look, exchange exchanging gifts. So this energy of manifesting here with co-create and then we have exchanging gifts. It's like love coming in. Things coming to fruition. It's just an Coming, of course, two and nine. Could be a literal gift here, too, but I feel like also what, I mean, what is just here that's really strong for me is it's around this apology. So, and I just have to say it, whether you're just hearing it here today because this is how they feel, or you're seeing them and you're getting it, or you're getting this message, phone call, I just want you to know that it's really clearly here, the person that's coming through. It really is a very strong apologetic energy, and that, I guess you could say in many ways, is a gift. But there is also this energy here of second chance, you know, that might be here for someone. 
TikTok, timing, look, three, divine timing, divine number, communication, in the hands of the divine, look, just kind of like, there's the clock, rising above literally here, up to the divine, like timing, it's out of my hands, look, it's sort of like letting it go between worlds. So for some of you, yeah, there's just some big issues here, there have been, there are, sort of how things got here, but there is an apology. <laughs> Regardless of what is the possibilities are here, whether this is closure, reconciliation, or you just want it, you just needed to hear this, there's definitely timing energy. Higher power. Yeah. The crown chakra energy, I know. The connection. This is a, a spiritual connection between you divine energy okay so building blocks <laughs> here we go yeah look unfinished symphony unfinished here the world card there's something coming in here knight of swords there's so much left unsaid there's so much that i want to say building blocks working things out making room for it here but unfinished business look a new cycle i want to tell you something too musical notes the piano this is my connection to making peace energy so the apology really clear it's not finished it could be that for some of you it's just the apology and then it's closure you know but <laughs> it sure seems like there's something there's a lot left unsaid here, and there's still obviously some intense spiritual connection between the two people who are, are here today. And the last energy coming in with our oracle is building blocks. So you can see the foundation is still here. It's like whatever happened, you know, if you think of it like a construction site, somebody, what they weren't getting along, or coworkers, you know, people working on the site, or somebody got hurt, bad weather came in, it wasn't possible, ran out of funds, something happened legal, and, and they had to like put a fence around it and a, and a lock, and then it's like it's open now, a new cycle. The possibilities, it's around, like this apology could lead to something, yeah, like reconciliation, second chance energy, it's the choices everybody's making. You have free will. The person coming through has free will. Everybody does, of course. Energies, outcomes, they can. They will and they do change. The future is not fixed. I was about to bring an oracle and then I thought, no, no, I want to bring in love messages, but I'm just going to show you the bottom of the deck here. It's the sun again coming in. Vitality. It's almost like the sun on, on both sides, like everybody's kind of ready for this new cycle. A happy outcome kind of energy, temperance, which is here. We have Archangel Michael here, Archangel Gabriel here. A new cycle for sure, getting everybody on the path to the truth for everybody's highest good. And if that just means this apology that needs to happen here and everything that needs to be said, then that's what it is. Something also, as I talk about that, <laughs> needs to be seen here. And excuse me, but my throat chakra is kind of going crazy. I just almost, yeah, lost my breath. So no place like home. Yeah. Four of Wands, the foundation building blocks for some of you. There is, There was a dwelling connection, like living together. Not for everyone. Could also be coming back in city, state, country, kind of the reunion energy, uh, homecoming energy of the Four of Wands. But I also want to tell you that for me is a lot of the, the spiritual connection between you. It's like you're like I feel at home with you. It's just somebody. It's a comfortable energy. You know, you could just be yourself with somebody. It's like there's so much left unsaid here. Unfinished business. So much left unsaid, coming back together here to make this apology. Where are things going from here? Things coming to fruition, this co-creation energy manifesting. 
exchanging gifts, building blocks, tick-tock, blessed. You know, like, where could this apology lead? It could lead to something really big. It could be for some of you, you just needed to hear it today. And maybe some of you, it's just closure. I cannot stand not talking to you. Channeled love messages, by the way. I love you now until the end of time. Are you okay? So somebody's asking, is that you? The person here, you are my person. That's this energy. I'm sending you a message. Here we go. Right here with our Eight of Wands. It's just been really clear. It's, a, it's, a, it's definitely an apology. And if the message is that you're getting it here today, I hope that you're taking it in because it's, I'm really feeling it. It's a big apology. I don't understand why I'm so connected to you. What you see online is a lie. I am not okay. So something else may be going on. I saw someone that looked like you. It felt like you were here. I'm scared to leave the life I'm in. The world card in reverse. Is there something there? Two of pentacles. Relationships to work. Money, people, places. Sometimes I imagine just packing up and coming to you. I know you were giving more and I'm so sorry. I wish I could see you in person. There's so much left unsaid. That's a really strong energy here today. These cards are making me bonkers <laughs> when they get all crooked. I miss you. The longing for you never quiets. I'm building up the strength and courage to contact you. I'm sending you a message. Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is strong. I thought that I knew how to love until I met you. We met for a reason. Fate and destiny. <laughs> Serendipity. <laughs> yeah, how you met. It's meant to be energy. Okay. Today I think I want to bring in some of our love notes. I close my eyes and imagine you're here with me. We are one, putting this with higher power. I spy on you, that's Page of Swords energy. So if you're on social media, they're looking. If you're connected through other people's social media maybe, just finding a way to get information. I don't know how to fix this. What is this around? Between worlds? The world in reverse. I saw someone who looked like you. I saw someone who looked like you. It felt like you were here. So it's a validating energy. I love you. It's like rushing in to say that as well. I think of you every day. I wished on the star tonight. Bringing in the star energy, Aquarius, Uranus energy. Understanding the connection as well. We met for a reason, fate, and destiny. And this affinity of just kind of being pulled back. Do you know what I mean? Whatever you're doing, I hope that you feel this apology the way I do because it's strong. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self. I'm sorry I ghosted you. Yeah, so that's also, that's that Eight of Cups in reverse. 
and the Five of Cups in reverse, and a lot of what's been going on here. But it's really a strong connection there. Beautiful soul, that is your love tarot today, your all signs tarot, your collective love reading. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for watching and joining me. Thank you for liking today's video, for subscribing to the Tarot Closet. I sure appreciate it. Don't forget to say hello in the comments because yeah, they're on. <laughs> Let's see, you know, they're on. And I, I really love to communicate with you and I like it when you communicate with each other, but play nice, <laughs> okay? Thank you again. I will look forward to seeing you in the comments and I'll look forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then, bye.